What's up, Internet? It is January 30th, 2019. We are here in the town with my Animal Crossing life. Now, today, allegedly, Tom Nook has a special sale on carpets starting in about 10 minutes. Now, we are starting out a little early by design. We actually lost some HRA points. We'll find a way to fix that later. Uh, but if we enter before he has his sale we should be able to access his regular wares as well which is nice a lefty desk actually i could use that i'm ambi but uh really we're doing this so we can buy flowers from him as well as take advantage of his sale i guess we can't do that okay well we got time to kill that's fine that's perfect i was certainly under the impression that we could do that but i guess not um Oh well. Uh, we do have a new house upgrade. Our house is now taller. And now we can go upstairs to this small bit. This is the final house upgrade. Now we have to pay it off still, but it is worth about twice as much as the main side of the, uh, the, the biggest upgrade we had for this room. Yeah, our upstairs costs twice that because sensibility I guess except not not really anyway oh and I did some looking up we might not be able to actually do a model of the town just by virtue of the model of the post office requires us to have a digital bank balance of 1 billion bells <laughs> um, I would like to have that uh, that idea for our house but I just don't see it as being realistic seeing as right now we've probably earned like 1.5 million and it's been a month already so you know we'd have to earn a thousand times that basically it's just kind of unrealistic but we'll keep that idea open in the future uh, we will put the mossy stone and since it's a green object we should put it down here for bonus uh, feng shui points not the snowman bed the garden stone and the mossy stone because we're gonna build our own little zen garden up here and it'll be cool and awesome actually there's one or two extra pieces of furniture that have nothing to do with the sand garden sort of design I'd like to get but uh, it might be a little while before we find them it's kind of random uh, I'm gonna take you because I think a lullaboy would be perfect for a sort of zen garden I guess we'll put you here. Yeah. I don't think that's a green part, so we'll just... We have to zen our lives up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. We have to order some more stones from Nook because I think we uh, got rid of a few. Those are some tickets. We don't need them right now. More tickets we have here standing stone that we need drop that there very zen oh what do we got as a present from uh, a tricera skull I think we actually do need that for the museum so that's kind of cool what else we get a stego torso I believe we do have that we need the tail though and a dinosaur egg. Well, we already have the eggs. Uh, there's some more tickets. So we can enter three times into the raffle, which should be tomorrow. There's another standing stone. Oh, I have an idea. It'll look kind of cool. We'll make like a little gateway into our Zen garden. That's, that's cool right there. I like that. Alright. And what do we have here? From our friend the snowman. Except not really. An exotic chest. Well, we can put that downstairs with the rest of our furniture for the moment. Uh, no. We want to keep 
keep our lefty desk with us. I think for now we can get rid of the snowman bed. And the exotic chest we won't need for a while. Um, and what the heck, we'll take these guys and bring them upstairs. Actually, I think a frog sound would be actually really cool. So we might grab that crocoid. Because, you know, if you got like a pond in your Zen Garden, you might have frogs in your pond. And I would like to get a uh, pond. Now, I'm not sure if the HRA actually judges the top floor. I I've heard conflicting reports on that. I don't need a poltergoid. I'm gonna put that back in the basement. But I definitely want this guy. And... Yeah, we'll put the little dinkoid over there. Yeah, I, I guess that would be good. We still have Poltergoid, though. What can we do with that? Um, that's the Crocoid we want. There we go. I'm not even sure I want that Poltergoid, honestly, but... There we go. I think we've sufficiently zenned this room up. Or about as zenned as it's going to get for a while. Okay, and we can put these back. Hi. I think you get a pond from uh, red later on. So getting a pond might be tricky. I think everything else we need is in our inventory. Yep, we're good, I think. Alright, let's uh, let's go hang out with Blithers, see if he needs this crap. A pitfall. Awesome. Notice that no one actually signed that, meaning they're embarrassed to have left a pitfall lying around. I'm not surprised because it's a jerk move to uh, leave a pitfall lying around. Alright, Blithers, I think I have a thing for you, Mr. Picky Pants. He's kind of a jerk, I mean... You offer to donate to the museum to help the town as a whole, and he's like, no, we can't have two of the same things. You can't be all, you know, super, super picky when people are just offering to help you. It comes across as kind of a jerk move. Which is why I am open to all donations for my channel. Yep, Stegosaurus is complete. I believe this means that we are now missing but one fossil from the entire collection. Which I want to say is a stegosaurus tail, but we'll go take a look. Just to make sure. Yeah, Triceratops done, T-Rex is done, yep, we need a stegosaurus tail, and that looks like it. It's only been a month, and we've already finished a chunk of the museum, that's impressive. Now the problem is, unless we find some, like, paintings, we're not going to find much else to help the museum until probably March. There's a fossil. We don't have any paper, that's a problem. Especially if Nook's only going to be selling carpets today. <laughs> Uh-oh. I may have found a full-on Nook's, uh, grand sale plan. What's up with you, kitty? Yes, I know, Hambo. 
I need to get a VHS cassette. Wow, I feel old. This reminds me of uh, probably two or three years ago, I was working with this uh, girl who was probably, I wouldn't have thought much younger than me. <laughs> and I had to explain to her what a CD was. And it was weird. So I decided to have some fun with it, and I basically said, well, it's kinda sorta like a laser disc, but smaller. And then she had to ask what a laser disc was, and I said, well, it's kinda like a record, but um, more optical. <laughs> I, I mean, seriously, how does someone not know what a CD is, like, in this day and age? I mean, I get we're in the day of, like, digital music and stuff, but how do you not know what a CD is? Okay, so you really do like making igloos, don't you, Belle? You're you're making villager stew, aren't you? That's that's where uh, Carmen went into your stew. I wondered. I, I suspected she didn't just leave town, but I really do not like her. <laughs> she is creepy. Okay, hey, we got a snowball. We got to find another one. So we can make a Mr. Snowman. I have a delivery. Take your VHS cassette. Maybe next time I can go look for your 8-track. Hey, stationery. That's a terrible gift, but if I can't buy any today, that might actually be useful to me. Good on you, kitty. All right, now we gotta go to Nook's special sale of Destiny, where we're gonna probably not buy too much because I'm sure it's expensive, but he has carpet, allegedly. Hey, free balloon. Hell yeah, free balloon. Awesome. <laughs> I just got the greatest thing. Okay, I got some stuff to sell, Nook. Uh, sell that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Huh. Okay, well, first of all, I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be a carpet sale. And second of all, you only have two things. And even if I get a ticket for each, that's not going to be enough for another raffle drawing. That's literally my basement right there. Great. Thanks, Nook. I literally just sold you the matching carpet to it because I didn't want it. Oh, what art thing are you doing? Yeah, okay, fine. I'll, I'll take it just because it kind of sort of matches the uh, thing. Yeah, the raffle's tomorrow, but we don't have enough tickets for another drawing, so those are basically garbage. Unless we play again next year. Which is certainly possible, I guess. Yeah, so we've got three raffle drawings. Hopefully we'll get something cool tomorrow. Preferably an NES game. Preferably, preferably Balloon Fight, because that's the best one that we can get from that. But at least I got a blue bunny balloon, and that's kind of awesome. I like this balloon. I'm afraid that bees might pop it, though. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm scared. I don't know if bees pop balloons, so I'm going to take it home and put it in my house. Because it's a cool balloon. And I guess we will just... Grab this. And drop it right there. Doesn't look too bad. The only reason I'm not carrying it around is just because I'm scared bees might break it. And I'm genuinely not sure if that's actually a thing that can happen or not, so I don't want to test it. 
Oh right, I got a uh, wallpaper to hang up. Even though it has basically no value to me, it didn't get me enough tickets and... I want to point out this is the very wallpaper he was trying to sell us. That's an awesome sale right there. That at least looks better-ish, I guess. The problem is it's a special wallpaper that matches that flooring, which means we have to get it from Wendell, which is entirely random. I don't care for that. Okay, so I guess our next move is to try and find the magic money rock. As we do. Oh, hey, apples grew. That's pretty cool. Might as well take them and try and sell them. Oh, hooray, you're done. I, I don't know what you're done, though. What art thing did you do? This weed. Oh, here's the magic money rock. Hooray. Now, if we make 10,000 bells a day, in order to pay off this house, it would be about two and a half months. So hopefully we make a little more than that. <laughs> but basically the last house upgrade costs about the same as the combined of all the uh, other house upgrades. Oh, you made me a card, that's cool. I can't wait to see it. All right, well, we got our magic money rock business out of the way. I guess our next thing to do is see if we can find ourselves the other half of the snowman. Here's where the snowman usually spawns. Nothing here though. Is that Tortimer over there? Holy shit, if that's Tortimer we have got to talk to him because that's where we need a bridge. I don't want to have to wander around up and down to get to these bridges. We need a bridge like in central map town. Oh, Hambo, you're ruining things. I thought you were Tortimer. Wait, Hambo, go find Tortimer, pick him up, and bring him to where you're standing right now. We can get a decent bridge in this town. Alright, we got ourselves another fossil. We should run into some gyroids, I think. Or maybe that was yesterday, but we didn't run into many. I thought it was snowing last time we were playing, though. Oh, hey, more fruit. The nice thing about these fruits is every tree worth is 1,500 bells. Which is slowly bringing us closer to being able to pay off our final house extension. And I think we just caught a glimpse of Cody Brain Fart. Booker not doing his job. Do your job, Booker. Hey, Copper. Anything going on? Oh. Eh, I got a free balloon. That's, that's about the extent of it. But it was a balloon shaped like a bunny, so yeah. Bonus points. Alright, so we gotta find ourselves... This spot is glowing for some weird reason. I wonder if that's just because of the lighting engine based on that uh, little ledge bit. Hey, Mint. What are you doing, Mints? Okay, you're not doing a thing, I guess.
But Tortimer's just sitting somewhere dumb. Oh, come on. Okay, we'll swap it for th that and put that there. Hooray. Now we'll go sell ourselves some apples. But seriously, we do need a bridge, like, right here. That would be the best place for a bridge ever. I don't even think Tortimer's around, because I guess because Nook's having a special sale or whatever, it classifies like a special day or something. I don't know. Oh, now he's talking to us about our house. It's spacious. Now pay twice as much as your entire house for this whole smaller room. Awesome. I'll point out that the basement was bigger than our upstairs, and it's going to cost, like, 20 times what our basement cost. Yeah, about 800,000 bells. I want to point out that I said I didn't want another upgrade. He's just extorting money at this point. You're a terrible raccoon nook. I'm curious. I just want to see the catalog for a sec, see if I can order ourselves another balloon. I can, in fact, order us another balloon. That's awesome. But not a golden shovel. Missed opportunity. Just look at all the gyroids we've collected over the years. And by years, I mean past 30 days. So many joy rides I don't care for. And one or two that are actually kind of good. Yeah, I don't care for many of them. I would like to sell. I'd like to sell you this very well dear, that you're selling at this current point for an exorbitant sum because sale in open quotes. There we go. There's some more money. We still have not found that other half of the snowman though. And that I find annoying. And the sad truth is, the moment I find it, I'm not going to be able to find the other half of it that we already found. Because absent-mindedness. Okay, so there's that one. I think that was the same one we already saw. Nothing here. seeing anything around here. Hmm. Tortimer, this is the worst place for a thing. You know, he has the voice of a lazy villager. That speaks volumes about his personality. want it to be north, right around the middle of the town. I wish I could just tell you, follow me and I will show you exactly where the best thing is. Here is not good. Here is the opposite of good. Good is at the middle of town where there's actually, you know, a deficiency of bridges.
All right, so we still have to find ourselves a snowball. Yeah, this spot's glowing too. I have no idea why. Weird. Oh. Oh, she made her feel bad. That was mean. There's another fossil for us to uh, send. Oh, here's where the uh, scallywag was hiding. Okay. Now the other one is two squares over. So we just have to be real gentle. Get this to the next one. And then we'll bring the one from over here into here. And then we should be good. Okay, that's actually a lot closer to water than I'd like that to be, so let's just move that around it. Uh-oh. Hello. All right, so now we just gotta get these things to be the right size. Preferably get the last two pieces of furniture from it. Choo choo. Silly train. I was making noise. Alright. Now we have actual control over this thing. a little small. Alright, I think that's about the right size. You can get furniture from snowballs if you make a proper sized snowman. In fact, you get exclusive furniture if you build a proper snowman. The problem is if you don't make a proper snowman, then uh, you get nothing. And your snowman just says, you were bad at making snowman, so you don't get anything from Mr. Snowman today. But uh, it's like a 10 furniture piece set plus, of course a uh, wallpaper and flooring. So there's a fair bit to the snowman set and they're worth a lot of points with the HRA. And if you're not going for HRA points, each individual thing sells for 8,888 bells because the number eight looks like a snowman. So regardless, you can make one snowman a day. It doesn't hurt to go after it just because it's worth a lot regardless of what you're interested in. And it's just a nice thing you can do. Alright, we got some bees. Turn. Ah, oh, Stupid tree was in the way, couldn't turn fast enough. Oh well. Still got two more chances. Yep, you can get a nice set of uh, snowman themed furniture, it's really cool. My house is mostly filled with it at this point because it's worth a lot of HRA points. But I'm still missing two points. The uh, wardrobe and the fridge. Oh, good. Alright. Now we might actually get a shot at this. Alright. Caught some bees. But uh, yeah, since we're here, I can show off the snowman set, or what I have of it. But uh, yeah, it's just little bits of furniture that looks like snowman. Also the most comfy looking bed in the world. Uh, do I have anything I want to 
check in the basement f while I'm here. Uh, nope, but I can move this stuff to my inventory. And, and I do need my stationery so that I can send off some stuff to our old pal, the museum. Okay. Might as well write some letters to the museum while we're here. Throw that away. Throw that away. Throw that away. Well, that's pretty paper. All right. All right, we got one more bee we've got to find. And preferably not catch with our face. Because pro tip, catching bees with your face is the wrong way to do that. All right, and then we'll just double back. That was a fruit tree, so not be any bees there. Nothing. There they are. They were all over my home acre today. All right. Oh. oh well. We at least caught one set of bees. Well, we've already done that. We've already got the uh, igloo sussed out. We already found all the all the uh, fossils, so I guess now we'll just fish for a little bit, I think. See if we can make some more bells that way. Because we still have that 800,000 bell house payment left to make. Oh, that's expensive. And it's a room that's half the size of, you know, both the main floor and the basement. You know, the basement, the thing that costs basically nothing to build. And yet, this one upgrade that's half the size costs twice what my house does. Awesome. Ah, went right for it too. And alas, I could not see it. Come on, Mr. Fish. Come on, Mr. Fish. There we go. Got ourselves a goby. Come on, Mr. Fish. Oh no, we got some garbage. Because people don't know how to recycle in this town. They're terrible. I mean, I'm not saying that three bins isn't ridiculous, but I mean, come on, at least learn to recycle stuff. Got ourselves pond smelt. And we have about six more spots in our inventory. Ah, I pulled that too quickly. Barbell steed. It looks so big, but it's not a string fish, which is actually worth some bells. Oh no, Mr. Fish. Mr. Fish! I'll rescue you and turn you into a fish stick. But for a brief period of time, you are in fact rescued. Alright, so that's done. How many more fish? 
Or more. Come on. Little more. There we go. And we still have three more. Cast that out there. Oh, I, I'm terrified to think about looking on some beaches for like dead fish and stuff. I know some beaches are really, really grimy and stuff, like people just, especially like the tourist beaches tend to be filled with garbage and just refuse and garbage. And it's sad that people would do that. Maybe I've got a little bit more appreciation for beaches, seeing as I live in the middle of landlocked Canada, but, you know, I don't get to see beaches. If I'm lucky, I get to see mountains, and that's about it. But it's mostly just prairie out here. Yeah, let's go sell some stuff. Because for whatever reason, we don't have the three bins in Animal Crossing Town. Just a landfill with very limited space. That is a blatant lie, Nook. Your product is literally the default housing background. Hmm. Well, we've almost gotten like one twentieth of a house payment. Or one twentieth of the full house paid off. garbage. Come on. It's hard enough paying off my house when all the fish are just garbage, but come on. You're not helping the town's image when you do that, villagers. And it was secretly a can of Auntie Belle's home-cooked special recipe villager meat, or something. Come on. Come on. Hey, I'm not sure we've donated a regular size base. Let's uh, let's go see. I know there's a fishing tournament later on in the year, and you have to have uh, large bases because the guy who runs it just likes to rock out. Hey, Blizzards, I got a fish for you. Do you have this? I can't recall. Yes, you do. And you're gonna be all incredulous about it because you can't have donations from more of the same thing for reasons. But you know, Blizzards, that just makes you come across as rude and not very humble to people who just want to help you out. And that's not very cool. Silly Mr. Picky Pants the Owl. Alright. Got a 
pond smell. I care not to smell your pond. Well, I'm just gonna scare the fish away forever. Cause that's how you fish properly. And I just whipped that hard. Anything down here? Okay, that's a string fish. That has to be a string fish. Which means I'm not leaving until I try and catch it. And the fact that he's playing hard to get and ignoring the lure tells me it's a rare fish. Yep. I'm pretty sure we actually already caught one of these and sold it, or sold it, uh, donated it to the museum, but we're going to check just in case. Because I know if we sell these, I think they're like worth 15,000 bells, which is a lot. But at the same time, I want to have a robust museum, so we're going to see if we've donated one of these yet. Yep, we already gave him our string fish. Hmm. Now we could sell it. In fact, let's let's go see what this does sell for. Cause I'm half tempted to just keep it in our house, just build a little aquarium type dealy. Cause I think that would be interesting. Your museum is not lacking. It has an almost complete dinosaur exhibit. Oh, right. I wanted to make sure that I had uh, done the thing that someone asked me to. Yes, uh, the string fish. It's a rare, very expensive fish you can catch in this game really rarely. I think only next to the waterfall, too. Well, let's see how much this guy sells for individually. So we will only try and sell the string fish. 15,000 bells. So it's worth a lot. And I'm tempted to just sell it right now. Because that's one house payment of like 20 we need to make. But I'm also kind of interested in just putting it in our house. So I think for now we'll leave it in the house and uh, later we'll, we'll see about selling it. Better if it was a koi and we had a pond in here. Still. Because fish tanks are kind of zen like that. And balloons, shaped like bunnies. Oh right, that's right, I want to uh, order some rocks from Nook as well. So I know we had the standing stone and the mossy stone, I think we had the garden stone as well. I know there's a dark stone we bought at one point that we don't have right now. And then I think there's two more stones out there. Let's look at our full... Uh, complement of stuff that we've collected. Except for the dummy, that won't be displayed because it's supposedly not in the game, even though it is. That shrine lantern would be pretty cool. Yeah, we need a dark stone. Maybe two shrine lanterns. like to order more things actually because mail order is fun 
only seen 100 different items at this point. That's a little weird. A bonsai would be cool. Maybe a lily pad table. Huh, the snowboard has the GameCube insignia on it. That's kind of cool. Alright, yeah, I guess uh, Shrine Lantern. If we could order two of those, that'd be pretty cool, too. Wait, yes, there are some things I'd like to sell. No, but I'd like to order another Shrine Lantern for our house. Because I think that would be very cool. That would be right around here. Alright, our ass is going to look awesome when we're done. Maybe. Alright, uh, right, we gotta go get rid of these letters. I didn't think there'd be another string fish there, but it was worth taking a look. All the same. Sometimes you just gotta check. Oh, it's you, Pelly. No one likes Pelly. She feels very insincere about what she's doing. Oh, that's it. Your old pal, the e-reader machine that we've never used. Ah, oh, but I want another string fish. They're worth a lot of bells. Got ourselves a bitterling. Barbell steed, I figure. And I scared it off. And I scared it off. That's probably a dace. It's a bass guitar. And what is probably a goby? Fun smell. Mm, we almost have a full inventory. Seven more.
six more. Don't run away, Mr. Fishy Fish. Come on. Five more. Four more. Kind of scared the fish off. Come on. Three more. Sometimes you have to scare the fish off a little. Garbage. Two more. Garbage. One more. There's another one. Yeah, the thing about the really big rare fish is they only bite for about a split second. And you kind of have to judge it right before they snap the line or else they're gone. Ah, uh, alas. We almost made another 15,000 bells. That would have been nice. I'm going to check one more time. I wonder if you theoretically could just Leave and re-enter. If you could just do that, that respawn the fish, or do you have to leave via two screens? How does that work? What it probably is, is it has like one full screen of buffer room beforehand. It's like if we ran here and ran back, it would be fine. but it's hard to say. Oh well, let's go sell this stuff to Nook. Oh, I'm sad. We could have had another string fish. More garbage for the dump. Let's go sell some stuff to Nook. And because we know he's going to have a raffle tomorrow, we shouldn't sell that piece of uh, stationery we have, because we're going to need it. Hmm, 6,000 bells, not bad. Check one thing real quick. Pitfall, basic painting. So drop by the wishing well at 7 a.m. on February 2nd. I think that the like end time for that is probably 9 a.m. as well. So it's a very small window. So 7 a.m. is probably when we'll go check it. I think our house doesn't look too bad right now. All things considered. 
probably move this. Put that upstairs. I think a giant rock head would suit this uh, rock garden a little better. Yeah. That's not bad. Hopefully we can get a deer scare and uh, a pond at some point, because that would be pretty awesome. Anyway, I think that will be it for tonight. But if you enjoyed and want to see more, come back tomorrow and uh, follow the stream to see when we go live. As well as subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I've done. It's a lot. It, it's staggering. If, if I really actually sat there and put it into perspective, it's ridiculously staggering. And if you really want to make my day, hit up my Patreon, help support the show there, so that I can continue to do awesome stuff, because doing awesome stuff is awesome. And you get yourself on the Patreon Supporters Discord, where we can talk about how awesome stringfish are when you catch them, so you can sell them for bells and not lose them like a total spaz. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you next time. Peace out, Internet. <laughs>